Hey, it's Richard from Anvil Works. Um, you know, it's a funny thing. The other day, I'm training some people. Uh, some clients were doing a little training session here in the gym, and in comes a kid, walks in uh, through the big door there, and just, he's probably 14 years old, maybe 15 at the most, 5'10", or so, probably weighed about 220 pounds, I'm guessing, you know, somewhere around there, 210, 220. And the first thing he asked me, he don't even know who this kid is. He's like, well, is this for weight loss? And I said, well, it can be. What are you looking to do? And he goes, well, the coach says i got to bulk up. And i got to tell you, man, I, I, kinda, I didn't snap really, but it was pretty close. I looked at this kid and said, bulk up. You're all fat. I mean, this kid's all fat. Okay, there isn't a muscle on this kid. He's 220 pounds of fat. All right, and I looked at him and I said, what are you talking about? How about you get fit and strong instead? Well, I'm supposed to say, go, you couldn't last five minutes in this workout with these girls. You know, and he got a little offended, I guess, or when he kind of stood there in the daze. And I'm like, dude, you've got to get fit. What is this bulk up stuff? I said, once you stay, once you get going. Well, I can't. My, my mom's in the car. I said, well, come back at the next next one. Okay, I'll ask her or whatever. He never came back. He's never coming back. This kid wanted to come in here and think he's going to lift some weights and bulk up. And I also told him, I said, why don't you go sit on the couch and stuff your face like you're doing now? I said, that's how you need to bulk up. You know, he had to leave, I had to train people, but I'll tell you what ticked me off was, if I had a few more minutes, I honestly would have asked, who's your coach? Where do you go to school? You know, because I'll tell you what the problem is in society in general here, especially school system, you want to get this kid up to a 300-pound land tuna so he can block someone on the line. He's no pro bowl or anything. This kid probably can barely play football. But these coaches want to fatten him up so they can sit on the line so they can match some other team or some other big big load sitting on the line, okay, so we can block for a couple other guys who might be somewhat fit and who can run, all right? What they're doing is they're destroying this kid's health for the rest of his life, all right? Go bulk up. What the heck does that mean? Go eat a box of zebra cakes and stuff. I had a kid like that did that before. All they're doing is eating all the time. They don't, they don't detrain, so let's say they make it three or four years in high school football. They're never going to college, probably. They don't. Do you think they're going to stop eating like that just naturally? No, they're already 280 pounds. I mean, this kid's 220 pounds is like 14 years old. That's insane. You know, it's just insane. And that's what these schools and these coaches are doing to these kids. They don't care about their future. They don't care about their health. They don't give two rats about that. All they care is about putting on another 30 pounds on the line so you can block some guy. All right? It's the total worship of sport over anything else. They don't care about these kids. All right? So all you coaches out there, you need to get a grip and figure out what's going on. How about making the kid strong and fast? You know, how about him lean out 10% of his body fat and see what he can do on the line? I bet you dimes of dollars, whatever you want to say, that the kid will be a killer on there. All right, way more effective, way less injury. All right, and why don't you try that? All right, instead of ruining these kids' health for the rest of their life, you know, teach them how to eat for performance. How about that? Why don't you get them something to eat? How would you tell me these foods? Okay, this is going to make you strong. This is going to help you be faster. That kind of stuff. You know, just naturally. How about you put some effort into that instead of telling some kid to go bulk up? What the heck does that mean? You know, it's an unbelievable disservice what you're doing to our children. I've got six kids, okay, and we care about what they eat. All right, sports, that's all secondary. When you put that before anything else and you think the kid's going to go somewhere, because you know about... You probably can't see through my fingers, but because that's about how many people are going to make it to pro sports. All right? So don't think your kid's going to have some chance because he's going to weigh 300 pounds at 15 years old. And people are going to look at him. Oh, he'll be great on the line. All right? Yeah, but he'll be dead at 40. You know, is that what you want for your kid? Diabetes, leg amputations, everything else. Is that what you want to set up for your children? Because that's what you're doing. All right. Now, I didn't see the guy's mom. Who knows? Maybe it's your own guilt that you're giving your kids, you're feeding them more, and just, just yeah, good, give them, give them some more food because I can't be there for them and whatever the deal. But, you know, the stuff ticks me off. It really, really ticks me off. You know, take some responsibility. You've got to take some responsibility. Don't because the coach says it. These coaches don't know dink. Okay? They don't know anything about health. Nothing. See if they can give you five minutes on anything nutritional. Anything. I guarantee they can't do anything. But go bulk up, you know. So pay attention to what your kids are doing, what their coaches are telling them. When you got a kid who's 40% body fat, he's 14 years old and 220 some pounds, and the coach tells him to bulk up, why don't you go open slap that coach? 
Because that's what I tell them. I go, who are you to tell my kid to go get even fatter? You know? That's pathetic. That's thinking of himself. You don't care about your kids. So don't think you're doing them some, some favor. Okay, ooh, they're in sports. It doesn't mean anything if they're going to die at a young age. All right, because they don't know how to eat properly. They don't know how to get truly strong, truly fast. All right, they don't know how to really work in the gym. They have no work ethic at all. Oh, we did some, some, some up-downs and we run around with our helmet in the heat with our pads on. Yeah, that's some workout. You know, oh, we did some bear crawls. Big deal. You know, you, they're teaching them nothing. Then tell them to go stuff their face with another 5,000 calories. All right. I know this is the major rant, but you need to spread this around. You need to pay attention to what these coaches are telling your kids. Because I'm telling you, they know nothing about nutrition. All right, especially for sport. I mean, that's their thing. That's not their thing. Okay, don't think they know anything about it because they don't. All right, when they're doing this kind of stuff to kids, and I guarantee you 99% of the coaches are doing the same thing. Because all they're worried about is size. Size, size, size. That's all they care. Our whole society just thinks fat is normal now. You know, we got people coming here, women that are 50 pounds overweight, and it's like normal. Shouldn't even be 50 pounds overweight. The kids, 13 years old, and you weigh 220 pounds, and you're 40% body fat? All right, there's nothing healthy about that. So get that stuff figured out. I'm going to end the rant here, but I'm telling you, don't do this to your kids. All right, do not do this. Pay attention. All right, get a clue. Educate yourself. Don't leave it up to some coach to direct your kid. All right, because most of them are clueless. Right? It's your responsibility. It's your child. It's your child's health. You know, and I don't care if your health is bad. Change, turn it around and make sure your kid's health is, is, is up to par. Maybe yours should be the same. Leave from the front. Leave by example and do that. That's what I'm thinking you should be doing. All right? Just don't leave it up to someone else. It's no one else's responsibility. They're your child. You take care of it. All right? Understand what these coaches are saying to these kids. Okay, Because a lot of it is wrong. All right, end the rant, that's it. I'll talk to you later.